about 30 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finals of the men's one wall big blue Tucson Pro Stop Championship. Coming onto the court first, the legend, the man who's won hundreds of big ball titles, singles and doubles, the current big ball one wall world champion, John Rookie Wright. His opponent from New York City, the electrifying, the human torch, the 2010 Big Ballers, New York City champion, the former king of the court. Please welcome Giovanni Vasquez. Our referee today, Lowens Jax, will have three lines people. We also have instant replay. We'll be playing one game to 25. Willie Polanco will be flipping the coin for us. Willie, give Willie a hand. Rookie calls heads. Just heard the announcement from Dave Fink as he gets these players ready for their championship match. First to 25 will be our champion. Good luck, guys. This is the WPH Tucson Handball Classic Part 2 in Tucson, Arizona. My name is Dave Vinson alongside my broadcast partner, David Fink, who just gave the announcements right on the court here with Rookie Wright and Gio Vasquez. This is the men's final of the Big Ball Championship. We call it the Big Ball Slam. And you see the camera is shaking around here. Rookie versus Gio. Four is zero. Zero. That is the opening serve. A great start for Rookie. Has Gio completely off balance throughout that first rally. Dave ends it with a pass down the left. Amazing control there from Rookie Wright. He's nearly on the cement, Dave, and still has enough control to dictate the ball back down the left wall. Look at that athleticism. This is a dangerous territory for Gio here, Dave. If he falls Three, behind seven, early, Gio. he could take himself right out of the game mentally. And rookie really has come to play here early. This is not the rookie, Dave, that we saw in his first match this morning against Samson Hernandez. Started very slow today. He started very fast. And you see rookie just completely on fire here, Dave. Gio hasn't five, yet seven, made an zero. error, yet finds himself trailing 5-0. Rookie with five kills already. And rookie goes for the spike. Actually left the ground there, Dave. He's about six foot five, and Four he's zero, about five. 13 inches off the ground there. So far in this tournament, you, you only play one game to 25. Five, that determines a match. And collectively, Gio, uh, excuse me, five, Rookie's seven, opponents have zero. only scored 25 total points. In this tournament, that's three rounds of ball. Rookie cruised yesterday. He was really pushed, though, this morning, Dave, against Zero, arguably seven, the five. best all-around handball player in the sport right now, Samson Hernandez. Side down. That's probably a discussion for another time, Dave, but it's Gio with, a, with an ugly-looking error there, a complete mishit. 
you know, Dave, I watched these two play in the finals of the 2009 World Championships in Portland, Oregon. It was Gio who came completely off the tracks. Com so emotional there, Dave, that he was unable to really even even play. He ended up losing that match 15-1, 15-1. Wasn't able to answer the bell to the pressure. Rookie is impervious to the pressure, Dave, as, as we just see him there. Shank a serve off the bottom of his hand, Dave. Looked like he reached down and grab, grabbed his knee, but I guess he just Very frustrated strange there. The wind could have blown that ball a little bit after he bounced it, but just a strange air. And Gio not serving well early here in this first game. You see Gio serves right in the middle of the court. Six or zero. Those will not work, Dave, against Rookie. And here's a big setup for Rookie. And you see the difference here early, Dave. Not only Rookie making his killers, but also imposing some pressure on his serve. And that time, it's Rookie serving in the middle of the court and Geo taking advantage. Look at that ball hang up there. And Rookie angles it well into the crowd in the left bleachers. This is a, about the fourth time somebody from the crowd has thrown a ball in right at seven, Rookie's seven, face. Zero. This time coming from his opponent. That ball's out. Oh, no, no. That ball was well out and Gio will argue this. Gio, Only I think there's no know. need to look at the replay on this. It's no, obvious. It's, it's well out. Gio upset that he took long. Wouldn't you rather him take long and make the right call, though? As he did. That ball well outside, Dave. We haven't looked at the replay. I you love how the referee, Dave, maintains his silence as he walks from. Gonna we come we to the will take a look at the instant replay here. I saw it as out. I know you did, too. Let's see what the replay Let's says. Let's see what the other 50 people in our booth think, including the referee. Hard to tell from that angle. Show it again. Slow down right at impact, right, frame by frame. The ball was good. Replay shows the ball hitting the line. Hard to argue with technology, Dave, although <laughs> <laughs> I might. Like but <laughs> it looks like it's out when you see it with your naked eye. But a great feature here, Dave. Wow. And, and Rookie dismisses that. Controversial call with a return kill. Seven serving, zero. Seven serving. That's a great serve. You saw it in. That's a beautiful lob return from Gio. Side down. And that was a total miss hit from Gio there. I'm surprised Dave. Rookie doesn't go to the instant replay. It does give you about a, a 45 second break. Gio really forcing things right now, Dave. He's, Seven, serving, zero. he's not patient right now, and he's not letting the, the action come to him. He's trying to force the play, and look at that shot from Rookie. You see most guys, Dave, leave that ball hanging in the middle of the court. Rookie with enough strength with his left Eight, hand serving, zero. to angle the ball off the court from outside the court. There you, you see go. Gio fighting for position there, and we'll take a look at the replay there. As Gio jumps in front of Rookie there. Boxes him out and drives the ball into the right Zero corner. Let's eight. let's watch here from the front camera angle. Okay, here's the return. Rookie not doing enough, and you see Gio jumping in front there. One serving eight. While we were gone, Dave, it was Gio winning his first point of this final with just a killer, and there's a, a skip, a bad-looking air there for Gio. Just looks flat at this eight moment. Eight serves one. one. First few points here, and it's, it's already nine. 10 points that have been scored. Oh, you know, Dave, it's virtually the same in any sport. The student Outside. against the teacher in a huge, important, stressful match. And it's very One difficult for the student, nine. Dave, to, to calm himself. Wow. And it just seems Rookie's <laughs> elevated his game under this pressure. Four is nine serving. One. Nine to one. And a terrible air there Out. from Gio. Ten serving. One. down. One serving 
Nice serve from Geo. Perfect lob. Has wow. to be frustrating there for Geo Day because he did hit his best serve of the match. Rookie throws up a perfect lob, closes in, and ends the rally in the left corner. Ricky told me before this match that earlier today the ball was really soft. And then he said Rookie that asking for two bounces there. I actually thought that was two bounces, Dave. We will take a look at the replay here. I agree with you. Okay. I also saw it as two. We do have the benefit of the replay, so. Looked like he might have gotten that, Dave. You can't really tell here. We're going to go to instant replay. Referee Dave, you and I looking one. in so intently, but it's actually not our call. Our referee saying that he did get it. One bounce, you got it. It looked like two with the naked eye, and again, we're reversed. This means that this is goes on all the time when we think things are good. Two, serving, ten. Well, Dave, it goes back to that adage that you hear the referee always telling the player, good call, and they call two bounces. More often than not, it wasn't two bounces, so <laughs> it right. wasn't a good call. Yeah, that's true. We've already found out that with our keen eyesight that we have, superior eyesight, that hit the fence, and that's out. 11, serving, two. Both these players fighting through this. And Gio, complete Gio's just air there. Just totally off his game right now, Dave. Completely rattled. This is exactly what, 12, serving, two. what happened in Portland, Dave, 2009 at the World Championship Final. It was Gio just dismantled. Now actually hitting balls over the fence, Dave. That's about as difficult to do as it is to put the ball onto Waveland Avenue at Wrigley Field. Way over. And now Geo's hit the fence for the fourth time. One warning. 14 serving, two. Dave, we haven't seen more than four balls hit the fence in this entire day. Gonna get an announcement here from the referee. I didn't hear on the webcast if I were to say one. If we had heard it, would it? Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we we didn't hear it. The next one, yeah, it's because we didn't hear it. Do a second warning on that. Guys, like I said, I didn't hear it, but I'm. After that, any foul language is point deductible. And that warning, that warning yeah. pertains to both of you. Yeah, so I only get, so if I fuck no, up, I that, get that, warning. No, he got the warning. <laughs> 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 Rookie's punished for <laughs> Geo's foul language. <laughs> Rookie's so magnanimous. He's, he's the crowd favorite, Dave. <laughs> it's like a debit card. You gotta pay in advance. I get one free cuss word. You see Gio actually moving into that, took away rookie's shot there. Score is two to 14. Gio grew up rookie student, Dave. His nickname for the longest time in New York City was Little Rookie. He changed that, Dave, by giving himself eight nicknames of his own. Sort of like Apollo Creed, the master of disaster, the King of Sting, and <laughs> the human blowtorch, torch, and electrifying. It doesn't really end there, but it will for this conversation as the human torch hits the cement and Rookie earns the side out. <laughs> 14, serves four. <laughs> 14 serves four. And that's a good look at a re-kill from Gio and Although it was unable to, to convert. Nice shot. Has to be difficult, Dave, for for Rookie as well. Rookie taught Gio virtually everything he knows, and now here he is playing him in a huge final. You have to feel like he's got mixed feelings here, Dave. Four to 15. Something's going on here with the blowtorch's right knee. 
need to you get see that thing welded. <laughs> you see it. That ball the skips blow in. His right leg scraped up there, Dave, from <laughs> an earlier fall. So is his left leg. We saw him slide into the stands earlier. And, and now it's rookie. Point. Uncharacteristically, Dave, making five consecutive errors. He was applying all the pressure. Now he's taking his foot off the gas pedal. Well, it's hard to have your... Seven, seven, 15. It's hard to be applying gas when a blowtorch is out there. Yeah. And that was almost an amazing shot. They don't mix well. Just watch the born identity. Well, they do mix well if your blowtorch runs out of gas. And rookie playing that ball that was clearly going to be outside the line here. I don't think he realized just how far to the right he was. Seven serves, 15. That's one game to 25. Serve there. And rookie now Eight. another error. Shocking, Dave. These are very easy Eight. shots for rookie right. Rookie's playing like Gio did in the first half. Wow. And you see Gio hitting that second ball so hard, Dave, that that it skidded on the floor. Can we change the name or the terminology of can I get a wipe to something different? Hmm. Towel down or something? TD? That would be more uh, appropriate. Can I, I get a TD? You're watching the WPH Tucson Handball Let's Classic part two in Tucson, Arizona. We are on the big ball courts with the men's finals between Gio Vasquez and Rookie Wright. Score is 15 serving eight. 15 serves eight. That ball just kind of jumped out to the right. You it's a small wrinkle. Skid. Was but it a skid don't or? It, it did skid. You don't want to take anything away from Four Geo, eight. Dave, but really he hasn't done anything differently here. It's been Rookie making a number of mistakes here to let Geo back into this game. And that's a good shot from Geo. Boy, Rookie is really laboring right Four. now as he calls a timeout at eight to 16. Serving is Gio Vasquez. This timeout has been brought to you by Aero Term. They're the leading provider of capital expertise and facility related services to airports throughout North America and expanding Aero Term, the leader in airport properties at AEROTERM.com as well as First Star Sports Incorporated. They're the innovative leader, designer, and manufacturer of scientifically advanced microfiber performance apparel. You could up your game to the next level like Dave Fink and myself. We wear First Star products. Go to firststarsports.com, firststarsports.com. You are watching the big ball finals, a chance of $4,000 between Gio Vasquez and Rookie Wright. Rookie won the north bracket. Geo won the south bracket. North had to defeat West. That was rookie over Timbo Gonzalez. And then Pee Wee Castro was beat by Geo. Pee Wee comes from the eastern Four bracket. In, As we call time in here, Dave. Rookie definitely feeling the effects now of this heat, Dave. It's his third match here in just under five hours. There is a breeze, but it's it's incredibly dry out here. Arid, I believe, is the word you use. Okay. Samson Hernandez has one right here, and it looks like Rookie is looking for a knee brace, and I think Samson could give him one. That's Sal. There's a injury timeout being called right now from the referee because Rookie is did something to his knee and he's looking for a knee brace and his partner, Gio Vasquez, is going to put it on him. This That's knee brace comes from Samson Hernandez, who is the line judge. It's becoming sort of a family affair here. This That's is going to be a comedy of errors. One of the, the great characteristics, Dave, of, of our great sport is the camaraderie and the fellowship. Just amazing to watch these two players helping each other out. It's rookie injured. These guys are playing for this huge title and it's Gio that's actually applying this knee brace. He put it on backwards. Well, you alluded to it, Dave. It would be a comedy <laughs> of errors. And and it already it's really a comedy <laughs> of errors. Do you really think that uh, uh, Tiger's uh, hitting coach was answering his text messages and helping him out book his um, 
his engagements after his golf meeting? Well, actually, the hitting coach would be responsible for okay, doing that. But I right. think you're asking, would Phil Mickelson go ahead and put the knee brace on Tiger? Well, I'm just asking. Okay. I'm not sure what you're asking, actually. It's kind of confusing. I think you know what I'm talking no, about. No, I don't. And this truly is a... <laughs> <laughs> this has become... This is a farce. <laughs> just saw Armando Ortiz laugh for the first time, so you know it's funny. Then he grab, grabbed his heart <laughs> because it uh, blew a stitch. Huh, nice guy. You're watching the finals between Rookie Wright and Gio Vasquez. Certainly, Dave, this could explain why Rookie has been so inconsistent here in the second half of this first game. Rookie with a huge lead, 14 to one. He's made a number of errors since that hot start. This is sort of a TV timeout we're taking right now. This timeout has been brought to you by Tucson Rolling Shutters, locally owned, nationally known. Tucson Rolling Shutters Incorporated manufactures the finest retractable products to improve the security, energy, efficiency, comfort, privacy of your home or business. They sell and install the products all around Southern Arizona as well as ship the products to dealers all across North America. Superior quality, rolling shutters and screens for your home. TucsonRollingShutters.com, the Proud sponsor of this timeout. In fact, on my ledger, it says injury timeout sponsored by Tucson Rolling Shutters. So I just take that little check mark. Bam. It's now taken care of. First injury timeout in the men's finals goes to Tucson Rolling Shutters. Dave? Gio actually in the webcast booth right now mentioned to his group that it's rookie faking the injury timeout in order to, to take a long timeout rather than calling a timeout. Well, we thinks that this could be gamesmanship. We're watching him and his. We saw this, Dave, in, in a four-wall tournament one time <laughs> from a player. I think we should just put a microphone on Gio right now and get him in here and see what he has to say about what Rookie is doing. I he'd mean, he'd be very willing, certainly. <laughs> I think he's saying it loud enough so it would go over the webcast. Certainly, Gio's saying that he thinks that this is a faked injury, but it was Gio who put the knee brace on rookie uh, I as think a friend. Gio was just trying to expedite the process, trying to get that knee brace on sooner. I think Rook he anticipated rookie spending another 15 minutes putting the knee brace on. You see rookie out in the sand limping around now. He needs nine more points to win this match, Dave. And nine points, certainly no guarantee, particularly if you can't move. We'd hate to see the final end like this. Well, we haven't seen too many of our veterans uh, fake injuries, New Orleans, 2008. Um, but I guess it can happen. We also saw, Dave, where are we, at? we also saw Paul Brady. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes. Minutes. We saw Paul Brady win the 2009 World Championships with a strained, pulled uh, hamstring or hip something of that sort, he wrapped it very tight and narrowly won that championship. So these great champions, Dave, can play through injuries and go on to still claim championships. We'll see just how severe this is. There's there's talk here in Geo's camp that this is nothing more than a fake injury, Dave. We are unbiased here in the webcast booth and we don't make judgments. So we just take things at face value we know that Rookie has nine minutes remaining on this injury timeout. And Actually, he's limping around. I was put on earth to love and not judge, mm. so I, I'm with you, and I agree with what you're saying. Earlier today, it was Rookie Wright defeating Samson Hernandez by the score of 25 to 19. And then it was Timbo Gonzalez over Willie Lefty Polanco, 25 to 18. Exciting matches there. Gio Vasquez over Robert the Iceman Sastry, 24 to 11. I think this is a smart move here from Geo Dave to keep himself loose, keep himself in the right frame of mind. I don't know how smart it is to be standing in the sun, though. But then Pee Wee Castro defeated Wally Amaro in a very exciting match where Wally was up 17 to three and Pee Wee came back to beat him 25 to 24. Now Gio facing Rookie here with the score of 16 to eight in favor of Rookie, although Gio is making a comeback before this injury. We'll see what happens, what transpires after Rookie gets back onto 
the handball court Looking here. He has a very dejected look on his face, Dave. He looks like he thinks he might not be able to continue. I've seen him play with just one arm. That's not the same as one leg, Dave. Mintech, the global software and service provider for the mining industry, is a sponsor of our breaks in this tournament this weekend. Not only the one wall, but four wall. As Chairman Fred Banfield was in 1970, they are committed to developing software solutions that meet their clients' needs. Mindsight.com, M-I-N-E-S-I-G-H-T dot com. We have a break in the action right now because rookie right about 25 shots ago dove for a ball and popped his kneecap on the ground and he requested a knee brace. The only person that had a big enough knee in this whole building is Samson Hernandez. Looks like a linebacker on a football team. Samson hands him his knee brace. Gio, with a great show of sportsmanship, walked over and tried to put it on, but he put it on backwards. <laughs> and then... Sportsmanship doesn't necessarily it stopped there. require intent. <laughs> he went to show everybody what kind of great guy he was, went to put on his biggest foe's knee brace, and then came over to us to say that he was faking the injury. Gio actually has had a change of heart. He's come into the webcast booth, Dave, and and said that he doesn't think Rookie will be able to continue. He's thinking about forfeiting. Rookie pulled a hamstring about three months ago. He was out for a month. He pinched a nerve in his neck um, about three weeks ago. Pee Wee saying, I have no idea how he's playing. Or excuse me, Gio saying, I have no idea how he's playing this well through all these injuries. Now he's tweaked his knee. We certainly don't know the severity of that. Rookie is the team doctor here, so it's hard to Ill evaluate yourself. He will be playing, I can tell you that. He needs I nine might points. actually want to wager some sand that this match will not finish okay. to 25 points. Four minutes. He only needs nine points to Geo's 17. And nine more points would earn him $2,000 more. You see Rookie back on the, the court here, and he's testing out this pinched nerve slash bad back slash hamstring slash well, we just left knee slash. Two balls in a row on the wall, so we know he can beat you. So he's, I think Rookie's done. I think it's over, Dave. We'll see what the announcement is here from Rookie right. You see that Gio's now trying to talk him out of playing. Thanks for the good advice. Listen, forget, I'll give you my second place spot. I don't care. You just, your leg is important, dog. Let's play in the game. Listen to that respect. That's, I don't know if that's respect or no, just that's reverse psychology. No, that's, uh, that's respect, Dave. Don't be so cynical. <laughs> There's no way he needs nine points. There's no way he's going to forfeit this. Two more minutes! I don't see Rookie continuing, Dave. This extended break in the action is due to a injury to the right, uh, excuse me, left knee of uh, Rookie Wright. He asked for an injury timeout. He's taking all of his minutes. He looks really weak in there. He's trying to determine whether he's going to continue to play. He's wincing. There it is. He's going to call it off. He's calling it off. That is it. Gio Vasquez wins, as it appears, the men's division on an injury forfeit. I just saw the call from rookie Wright, who says it's over with. Haven't heard the official call from the referee, but I think Pee Wee Castro is stepping in saying, 
Listen up, man. You can go in there and play. You can still score points. We haven't heard it officially from the referee, well, but I'm prematurely called it. But your premonitions have been pretty good here, Dave. When we saw a couple people leading 24-5. You announced them that they would be the winner. They ended up winning. Uh -huh. So you've had some good insight, some predictions. One minute. Now he's talking to his nice. coach, nice. Pee Wee Castro. I, I gave the home run shot already, so. You should have just been rounding third. <laughs> I shouldn't even be up to bat, honestly. Gio's saying that it should be over because Rookie said he quit, but until that official handshake, Dave, that we, we do every morning when we wake up, uh -huh. it's, it's not. Separate beds in separate countries. <laughs> it's, it's not official. Until Rookie has uh, now said it is over with. Rookie Wright has announced that he uh, is. Not, uh, not, not yet. Are you? Yes, he has announced that he's retired. It is official. Rookie Wright has now stepped out. This is a scratch. And Gio Vasquez has won the men's division on an injury forfeit. <laughs> Rookie had to weigh his options, walk around, and determine whether or not he wanted to continue. He decided not to. He, he knows good and well that he has a knee ailment, and he is not going to force it. It's a terrible ending to a great handball tournament, but exciting nonetheless. Let's go to Dave Fink, who is oh, uh, courtside, and I'm assuming that we're going to get a little interview here. Dave? Gio, congratulations. You're our, you. you're our Tucson Big Ball Pro Stop champion. Obviously, this isn't the circumstances. I You'd like to I win. Wanted, yeah, I didn't want to just go. I wanted to actually beat him. Uh, kind it's of, for me, it kind of feels like I'm defeating the purpose. Becoming the best. Certainly. Um, rookie, we would love watching you play. You guys were having just an incredible battle. It's, you know, these things happen in sports, as you said. And, right. you know, you can't continue. Um, certainly, you have to be proud of your, your young student here. You, you raised.